asked me like two or three different times. Are we getting another fucking <laughs> phone call? No. I told you. You Do you remember so how, you know how I was on the phone with the... Yes. Yes. That's probably what's happening. What about the first one? Same thing. What about the three other ones? You know, from this point forward, anybody gets a fucking call during this <laughs> podcast, it's fine. <laughs> You know, you know how many podcasts have we done? Professional. You should. How do you not know right away? He knows. I don't know. Yeah, you do. You told me in the office when we were doing this. <laughs> That's how much I've been released, not how much we've done. Okay, okay. Oh. Released. Okay, 51. 51. And I just I just came up with a, what's the word here? I just figured out something after 51 released podcasts. That's a lie, though. You've done about 160 in your life. I'm talking about fishbowl. Okay. So here's what I want you to do. Carol, I want you to open that door. <laughs> I want you to open that door. Okay. Okay. So what I want you to do now is I want you to shut that line up right there. That one right there. You're talking to me. This is one. There somebody else on the other side. Scott, Why does he have to do anything? Because you're closer. <laughs> shut it off. Shut it off. Ooh. Back up a little bit, Carol. Back up. <laughs> no, seriously, back up. <laughs> Back the fuck up. <laughs> Jesus. You're not on the fucking line. Right there. Okay, so here, stay there. Here's what I've come up with as an absolute fact. You look better in the dim, and you definitely look better in the dark. <laughs> okay, you can come back down. I have come up with that conclusion. Yes. Oh, shit. Okay, <laughs> fucking shit. That's really good. That was good. Did you just come up with that? Yeah, I did. Oh. <laughs> So seriously, that what we want to talk about today, Charlie. That's like a compliment towards you. Cool. I know. At least you can look better. You just have to get in the dark. I'm fine with that. Okay. Um, it's about jobs. And I started thinking today about jobs. When was your first job? And it could be paying or non-paying. And I don't know if it's a job if you're not getting paid. And you'll understand what I mean when I talk about like my first job. What was my first job? I know what your first job was. What? Working on the dairy. That's right. As like a what, five, six, seven year old? Well, but then it could be classified as a like a chore, but it was more than a chore. You know, it wasn't just a chore. It was hard work. It was the job. And when I think about it now, you know, but I also think, I mean, that was when I think basically that is considered a uh, um, child abuse, I mean, to some degree, because you know, on the dairy, that's how they, they kept the overhead down. You have all these kids, well, fuck, you make them work as much as you can, you don't pay them. What is that? Slave labor? Ooh, that's I think that's just smart. I think that's just smart. Or at least for, you know, just child saying, abuse. But back in the day, that was just kind of how it worked. Well, I know, but fuck, it was child abuse. I hurt my back when but I was eight it, years old. But did it not make you a better what person? What did you like that? I'm just laughing at you. Hey, did it not make you a better person, a that's, better worker, a, a harder worker? That's a different conversation to go down. It's slave fucking labor. It was child abuse. Oh, they fed us and they kept us under a roof. But I think about that. Eight years old, I hurt my back. I was cleaning uh, shit out of a captain and I hurt my back. So was that was that my first job? Wait, let's stop there right there. Do you think it's child abuse? Um... I don't know. It's a form of it. They did it. With did love. you not want to do it? Hell no. <laughs> Ever? You don't have no, no fond memories. Of it. I remember it because it's very traumatic. You could, you should relate to that, Charlie. You're very traumatic. Traumatic or dramatic? Both. <laughs> <laughs> it um, was traumatic. I think if over and over you're like, I really don't want to do this, and you're whining and crying, then yeah, your parents probably shouldn't. Over and over. But like she said, that was just part of what how it was how it was. Back in the day. That's, that's, right. The, right. that's right. That's kind of my point. It doesn't mean it was right. And but I will say this. It it taught me how to work at the end of the day because we just that was something that we just 
It's too bad. Do you think you would have been successful if it wasn't for that? I think all the stuff that goes on in your life has some kind of an impact. Positive, negative. You know what I mean? I think maybe it does. Mm-hmm. That's on my opinion, being this age. But my parents definitely one taught us how to, I mean, we just learned how to work. Yeah, so if you wouldn't have done that, yeah. I wonder who you'd be right now. I know. But that's separate in my mind. It's you know what I wonder? But when's the first time this little princess got her hands dirty? She has a member. What? <laughs> I get them dirty all the time in the gym. I do all oh, the manly she stuff. Dust. She gets dust with that. <laughs> <laughs> this shit comes off her. Gym. Stop <laughs> it. I fix the toilets. I oh, put stuff up. Work, hey, you know, you a client. That in there with hey, shit? you know, a client actually you came up to me yesterday, yesterday and he was like, What are you doing? And I had a screwdriver in my hand. I was like, I'm about to replace this. And he was like, Wow. Replace what? It was a wipe container that was like on the wall. A wipe? Did you get dirty? Did you throw it in the dirt? <laughs> hey, I got no, wall like, stuff on me. Wipe container on yeah. the wall. Oh my gosh. She can clean herself as she's doing it. Hey, I cleaned. I've cleaned windows for money. Well, outside windows. No, he said dirt. When that's just, dirt. What do you think's on the windows? You get your hands dirty. You don't really understand what dirt is. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's kind of said it right there. Um. Oh my God! I got some dirt to the window. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. First time I ever got my hands in the dirt would probably be at my house when I was a kid. And my mom had two aviaries in the backyard with all these birds, like 40, 50 birds. And I'd go out there and I'd help her take care of them. And, you know, we'd have to move rocks. We'd have to dig holes. We'd have to take care of them, feed them, pick them up, pick up the dead ones, get the babies, warm them up, build the little things. They're huge. One took half, like half of the backyard. I know. Oh, and I mowed the lawn. And my dad decided to make these big old bumps in the front yard. So I had to push it all the way up. I can't even tell you how old I was because it was hard. All the six. way up? Yeah, it was a big hill. Sounds to me like you're a good storyteller. He had like a big hill and then went down then another big That's hill. That's six years old? Probably. Probably. I don't believe that. No, I'm being serious. Why didn't your dad mow it? Or you had an older sister. Why didn't she mow it? I don't okay, believe one, my sister did six. not go outside at all, ever. She did not help with that stuff. And two, my she dad wanted to raise a tough girl. and so. She didn't want to help? No, no, no. She would not do But that. they would force was, you? I no, because I liked this. it. Okay. So, no, nope, not the same. We're not talking about the same thing. <laughs> I liked Leo's, helping. Leo's story was sad. He was sad. forced. He was spanked and whipped. Yeah. But that's how it was. Those times, that's just the way it was. Which, you know, fast forward to the kids now, they're thick. So, anyway, that's that was my... I was thinking maybe about, it's because... The kids are pathetic now because they were raised like you, and you, that generation their doesn't parents want to do it raised. to their well, I, I, Actually, I agree a little bit because we think, uh, uh, let me make it better for the yeah. my kids. But I, so the way I did that is I made my kids, you know, very disciplined in sport. That yeah. Was my only way for because I think it's important. Let them go have that, fun. My parents, look, I'm glad they did what they did. I'm just mm-hmm. kind of playing a little bit. Yeah. yeah. But uh, so it wasn't really a job. That it was work. Let me put it that way. Okay, when was your first job other than that? Yeah, yeah. See, paid. let's talk about this because <laughs> what are you assuming a job is? I'm just saying, you're one assuming that, gets that was your first job. I'm saying at the age of 15, I want to know what you're doing. I've, got, well, stuff I'm just I've got paid for stuff that I would never consider a job. Okay, that's, that's debatable. It what? Was, mm-hmm. How would you get paid to do something that they're considering a job, but you wouldn't call it do- a job? I didn't say they're considering it a job. I'm just saying I've got paid for stuff that I wouldn't say I want it to be a job. Do you get? You know, don't. Get, she knows what I'm talking about. That's what Wait, I, I do. Yes, do tell. Yeah, do tell. No, I'm not telling. <laughs> you know, so you tell. If he doesn't want to do tell, you tell. No, I don't. <laughs> well, maybe I do now. You do. You know. I've well, if it's something for, he's not going to tell you, you have to get on your knees. Though. Just. <laughs> I've been paid for a whole bunch of sketchy stuff. Okay. Well, I, I'm just going to say there's work, there's job, and what else are we talking about? I think there's that's a chores. What are we trying to consider a job? I don't know. Right? Yeah, first, job. Like, the like first what? job it's that I actually had, I would say was the therapy. Well, I never got, I didn't get paid for that until I got married at 27. All the stuff that I did, I never got paid. So, but it was. Did you have, did you have food in your house? No, we had to go out and pick it. Did you have electricity in your house? <laughs> <laughs> my first job, believe it or not, because I always worked on the dairy. My first job that I got paid for at COS. What? COS. How old are you? I know. How old are you? 
How old are you when you go to Sea West? Ever, ever that's what, that that's was your why, first job. That's why we're going to tell you in a minute. <laughs> I can't even there. wait. Just, just go. go. I think me and you got a job a lot younger. That's why I got a job at 15 years old. I got a job at 15. Well, like I said, I worked government. On, okay, but he did. Paid. He did I work on the dairy the whole time. The whole time. Yeah, okay. I worked on the dairy it's for no money. Until what age? 20? Like 19, 18. I just got money from my my parents. Eighteen. So you were getting paid. So that was a job. Oh well, fuck! I mean, it was like <laughs> peanuts. <laughs> like, so that was a job. Okay, it was a job. Like, I mean, like, <laughs> okay. What was your real job in your opinion? <laughs> <C-O-S>. <laughs> okay. Well, what were you doing? I'm an athlete, and what they did is they gave me a job. When I say they, the PE department. Uh huh. Trying to think of his name. Anyway, they gave me a job, and I had two jobs. One of them was to pick up the trash. In the quad area, I had like a little cart. I had a stick that I could stick the yeah. Mm-hmm. While I was on the flying you know, in that little cart, <laughs> put it in my little bag, and then I used to wipe down the walls in the men's shower room. Ew. I used to get paid for that. Um, it wasn't very much. So you are this big, tough, very popular quarterback. Sexy of the college, yeah. You're all you're you're that guy, right? You're that guy at CUS, yeah, and like really, the, as an athlete, you know, like you were the, the, you were the jock, yes. the jock, and that was your job at CUS. <laughs> yeah, that's um, that's I that's I give you kudos for that. Well, you think it's demeaning or something? I think that is somebody she does, else because she's high maintenance. No, I think that somebody she's else. that girl at school that would be like, Ew. Yeah, dude, yeah. <laughs> He doesn't know me very well. But boom. point being, I give you kudos for not having too big of a head and thinking that you were too good for a job like that. I love that. That's really great. Yeah, I did that. Okay. So that was your first So I would say job. that was, yeah. I was working for somebody else. I was working for the school. And you didn't like money. feel any kind of like. I'm not one bit. <laughs> no. I did Feeling, what's the word? See, she's saying that because she's high maintenance. No, she's like, I didn't feel like you it was below like, that. Like it was like no, low, I don't look below that. I would have totally did that too. No, you would have because look, you listen to what you're saying. It, I didn't feel like it was to me. I actually had fun with it. No, I just know that people would feel that way. I like my. I know my sister would be like, "I'm too good oh, for that not job." Me, man. And it's like so all kinds of girls all over the all over the quad. Fuck, big <laughs> 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 I didn't think it was to me. Okay, it was fun. What about you, homegirl? Uh, very first job was no legit. Yeah, no, very okay. first job, like legit. Yeah, was at Total Fitness as oh. a oh, fuck is fitness that? instructor. Sounds nasty. Total Fitness was for <laughs> okay. Uh, Total Fitness, Charlie. Shh. Okay, we got it. Total Fitness was a fitness place for toddlers and children. So I had like infants all the way up to. Eight years old because I taught the hip hop class. So you told about a dance? Um, I had the infants. We did like the parents would come in with their kids sit in front of me, and I'd be in the front doing instructions of like shaking our little eggs. We would play eggs? little, yeah, these little eggs that made noises oh, oh, to help yeah. with like help the baby scare see things. You totally doing this job. Yeah, and then um, teaching the babies how to grab things. We'd walk around and like have them. I never did so that. I did like so things good. to help babies get better, and then I had like my three to five year olds that came in, and we played and we ran through. The little balls, and I'd have. Where them was this at? Down on main, like Main Street area, Oak. I say kudos to you. That's that was my first cool. job, and then um, I was a hip hop dancer. So then she opened a hip hop dancing class, and then we did that. Don't believe you. Let's see something for the camera. No, that was my yeah. first job. My dancing. Yeah. No, uh, I recently did it. But not, not this episode. Maybe another one. I mean, if I really asked that, for somebody to send me a video, I have like a really it's... big video that I'm dancing in, but she's in the beach area. So I, don't think she's I think it's pretty cool. It's cool. I liked it. And funny thing is, is I did that. And then so now you're, here. Uh, you're 15? Yeah. It's 15, 16 almost. Yeah. But you, you didn't go from there to here because didn't you work at. No, I had other jobs, but I mean, like that was a fitness type oh, job, you know, for yeah, kids. Yeah. And I didn't think anything of it. And yeah, now I'm doing it with adults. Well, Different. that's questionable, but yeah, you never know. Mm-hmm. You know, how about you, Charlie? My first one, I don't know, because I'm kind of like you. I grew up very young doing construction, and I just kind of look at that as a was job. that for your family. Mm-hmm. So you were not getting paid, like no, yeah, peanuts. Okay, so what was in your second job? I've had. I've. I've I'm a person that's had like 500 jobs. Just go for just a person. 
Yeah. Come on. That's I mean, the first one after construction would like, yeah. Would be all important if you got 500 jobs. Maybe a hostess at, like, Applebee's. Did you remember, Charlie? Mm -hmm. Really? I worked at a bustling, and all I did was, like, count people that came in. That was chill. Okay, but was that before Applebee's as a hostess? Yes. Or a host? Technically it's host uh, a host. host. Yeah. I think Applebee's. Then construction. But see, here's the thing. I did construction, like, as a family. Like, yeah. just going and learning and yeah. not getting nothing. Really and, then, and then I did start getting paid, probably like you did, yeah. when I got older and stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah. When they're like, okay, he's going to realize that. Yeah, he's 27. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I started getting paid, and then, uh, but I I guess Applebee's, I guess. I guess. I don't know. Because around that same time is when I got the bus job, and then I, I also did... um. I set up the concerts at uh, the Palace Casino. Yeah. You know? That was the coolest job. The funny thing is, is after my job at the COS, I never had a job again until I got married. Well, before I got married, because after... Wait, how long were you at that job? Which one? COS. Two years. Well, not two years. I did there for... I got caught. I'm not doing that job. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they do those fuckers? <laughs> Depew was his name. Last name was uh, Depew. He was like the, the trainer, but he was in charge of. There were a few of us that were cleaning the walls and shit, you know. So he. Would, oh, I had a job. Oh my god, how did I forget this? It may not be Applebee's. I would uh, on in summers go to the schools and the high schools and repaint them and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Who paid you the high school? Uh huh. Totally forgot about that. That's why I'm like, guys, I've had so many jobs yeah. I can't remember what was first. It sounds like it might be one of your first ones. So. Yeah, it may have been that. Uh -huh. And then summer, they would just like for like a month or two, you just go and repaint both of the high yeah. schools and do like little stuff like that. I've always done like construction stuff type stuff yeah. like my whole life. So his name was Bill DePew. He was our trainer, but he also we had a few guys that were athletes that did these little jobs. You know, get paid nothing, but it was a job. We got money. So he would call me Porty. Porty, he'd say. Did you do your work? Yeah, I sure did, Bill. You learned your job? Yeah. He's asked me that two, uh, a couple, three times. And the third time I came in, he said the same thing. Party! Doing your job? He goes, follow me, party. And he took me around to the little spots. Did you not already get nervous right there? I would have started no, to get sick to my stomach and started sweating and everything. Yeah, sure he said, I was a jock. <laughs> I didn't get nervous. <laughs> 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 I would have been having a hernia. So he, he took me in the in the shower room on the walls, you know, and he had made little marks, little X's. And he said, see this one? That's yours. He had several that I didn't do. Yeah, I got fired with that. Oh, my gosh. So it didn't last very long. Hey, tell me something. How do you feel when you get fired? Well, not that bad. When I'm, she says it because I've never got fired. Well, that was, I never got fired. That was the only time I got, that's, I mean, is that you got fired? fired? Yes. I got fired. <laughs> you got fired. It didn't seem to bother me too much, to say the truth. No. So, so from there, I go to, I go on a scholarship to a four year college. Yeah. So who cares, anyways? Then You're off to do your then thing. They okay, just play football. And after that, after school was over, football was over. So when I got my first job, that's when I got a construction job. With Reggie, this is when I started. Oh, I became that's a, this I time. I originally became a mason, but I started out as a, a grunt, you know, mm -hmm. a, a tinder, they call this. Yeah. A, go, a gopher. You put go that fetch. in your story. That's in your book. Yeah. That was the first time I started actually getting a paycheck from, like, other than schools and then slave labor for home. But I didn't get a paycheck. I got food. It was trade. <laughs> yeah. Never got fired. That was my first job. I guess I've never been fired, I guess, but I've been fired, you know? Yeah. No, I don't know. What's the difference? No, like this one. Did you say fired? Fired. There's this one job. Really? Or fired. <laughs> it's the fired. same thing. <laughs> say this. Just over exaggerating. Uh, I had this one job where I got, like, I stopped going for like three weeks and then they called me and they were like, we're going to need you to come in. I was like, who is this? <laughs> you know, I was like, it was already out of my mind. And I went in and they're like, <laughs> out of your mind. They're like, oh my gosh. Were you already uh, abusing drugs and alcohol? No, this is uh, after. Oh, well. yeah, yeah. This was after I had to give all that up. They were like, we're going to have to let you go. And I was like, what? <laughs> I haven't showed up for three weeks. I thought that was me letting this go, but okay. And then, yeah. 
<laughs> just don't show they up. Fired and... me. Guess what? Yeah, you, you got unemployment. You got unemployment. <laughs> well, you're, kind of, you're one of those guys. Oh, I know. Yeah. I remember now when I had, when I got my crew, you know, because I worked my way up during that job from Gopher to I actually was a Mason. Mm -hmm. And if I if I wanted not to have to pay somebody unemployment, of course, it'd make them quit. So they quit. I didn't fire them. Because mm -hmm. so I know the game you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I thought I did quit, but they called me back like an idiot and fired me. So I was like, okay. Well, you just put it two weeks in. I just stopped showing up. That means I quit. <laughs> but after that, that uh, you know, that Mason job I did for about four years. I actually learned the livelihood. I got married. Guess where I came back to? The dairy. <laughs> I came back to work at the dairy. This time I got paid. But, you know, it was awful. It turned out to be just one of those, fuck, I settled. I hate the, the thought of getting up tomorrow morning to go work. It's one of those jobs. Mm -hmm. <laughs>